Six months have passed since the Israeli triumphed in the half lightweight division at Abu Dhabi's IPIC Arena, a sporting feat blighted by geopolitics that generated headlines around the world. I think it is the same feeling, it is still bittersweet, Flickr tells News Total Sport, having sung Haidakva in quiet defiance when tournament organizers refused to play his country's traditional national anthem. Of course, winning a gold medal at a Grand Slam was very sweet, but at the same time, sport and politics should not mix. I think sport should overcome all the politics. Read, UAE officials apologize to Israel judo team following handshake snub a positive experience for all participants approximately 400 athletes from 44 nations are expected to travel to Tel Aviv for this week's competition. And Flickr isn't the only one that hopes such discrimination engendered because the UAE has no diplomatic ties with Israel and doesn't recognize it as a state, never occurs again. Former Olympic judoka Moshe Ponte, now president of the Israel Judo Association, believes the championships offer a chance to showcase the nation on the 70th anniversary of its declaration of independence. We are delighted to have the opportunity to organize these important championships, said Ponte. We firmly believe that a judo tournament should be a positive experience for all participants sportsmen, coaches, staff and audience alike. Sergi Solovicic, president of the European Judo Union, EJU, issued a statement praising Israel's heritage, predicting it would be a joyful occasion. Israel has a successful history of staging important European events, said Solovicic. I sincerely hope that these championships will bring you a lot of positive emotions and bright impressions. Flickr predicted the Tel Aviv tournament would run smoothly, calling it a 70th birthday gift for his country. I'm very excited to compete in Israel, it's going to be an amazing event, he said. I hope we will have more. People don't know how beautiful Israel is and how much we love judo, so I think everyone is going to enjoy it. Flickr has previously spoken passionately about his pride in representing Israel, writing on his official Facebook page last year, with or without the flag, I will face the difficulties and any rival in front of me. Everyone in this world knows where we're from and which country we represent. He and his 11 compatriots competing at the elite international event in Abu Dhabi were forced to wear judo uniforms without the typical identifying symbols of their nationality despite the International Judo Federation, IJF, contacting the president of the UAE Judo Federation insisting all delegations be treated absolutely equally, according to a letter obtained by the AP IJF President Marius Weiser contended Flickr and the team had been treated well given the delicate issues between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, issuing a statement saying, sometimes with courage, respect and politeness, you can solve tensions and conflicts which have not been solved for many decades. The UAE Wrestling, Judo and Kickboxing Federation did not immediately respond to News Total's request for comment. Read, meet Lucas Kripalek, the Czech heavyweight with the toughest task in sport building bridges with a moral code, preaching a distinct set of ethics, Judo is among the most popular sports in Israel and accounts for over half of the country's Olympic medals since it first competed as a nation in 1952. Flickr, who secured bronze at the recent Budapest World Championships and is aiming for gold at Tokyo 2020, believes success breeds success. I think it's about tradition, he says. The right people managing the sport. The right coaches. Oren Smaja was the first Israeli man to win an Olympic medal for judo, bronze at the 1992 Barcelona Games, and he's now the national coach. Success becomes something of a tradition. Read, Judo gives us hope in this fragile world, Yasuhiro Yamashita Flicker, a former world number one in his 66 kilogram division, also praises the values of the discipline. I think the most obvious aspect you can take from Judo is respect, says the 25-year-old. Before you start the fight, you give a bow to show respect to the opponent. Then you fight like you want to eat each other. But then you bow again. Other sports could learn from that.
This year alone has seen a unified Korean hockey team and two countries marching under the same flag at the Winter Olympics. Visit for more news and features Does the Israeli judoka ultimately see the gentle way as something that can heal long-standing rifts going forward? Yes of course, most definitely, says Flickr. Not only judo, sport generally can build bridges.